So I'm going to show you how to create this effect. I'm real sorry. I'm real sorry. I'm real sorry. I'm real sorry. And now I'm After Effects, and this is. I'm real sorry. I'm real sorry. And we're just going to go some few frames. So one, two, three, three frames, and we're just going to cut it. So I'm going to split it one to ten of this. And now let's work on this. So go one, two, three, three frames and control shift d to split this and with this what we are going to do is just double click and now go to so now change it from fill to stroke and we have something like this here so now let's create a skill animation position animation and rotation animation now reveal your keyframes move it to the end and now let's move it to the top just a bit and let's rotate this and scale this down highlight your keyframes easy ease make a graph like this Make sure you you turn on motion bless duplicate this again ctrl d so go to the first frame the second frame ctrl shift d split this and change this from stroke to fill so we have we'll be having something like this then with this layer here now move two frames ctrl shift d then now what you have to do now is we are going to create another animation so create position animation and skill animation and hit you to reveal your keyframes put it to this side here then go down a little bit and scale this down So with this, all you have to do is control shift display this. Now change it to stroke and turn off the fill. Increase the stroke to three. So at the end, this is what we have now. And now let's go to the next uh, layer. So go to one, two, three to shift d then with this we're going to scale this up so we'll go for s for scale move it like this and now just go one two and just leave it like this and now go one two and scale it again control shift d split and scale this so scale this again so this is what we get so with this just highlight all the text decompose all of them and make sure you turn on motion blur here so that we get a nice animation like so so this is what we do so i'm going to do the same thing or oh, i'm really let's play let's see what we have real so i'm real real so i'm real so i'm real 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 so now we're done with the arm so now let's go to really sorry so this you're going to do the same thing
I'm real so I'm real so I'm real so I'm so now so what you can do now you just select all of this recompose them you can now start doing our tracking so before we do our tracking let's create a new null object and let's call it a track so go to your tracker so if you don't have this just go to windows and make sure you turn on tracker and now go to track motion and we want to track the face so we'll send it to where the face is and just put it to where the nose is expand it just a bit and just play it so that we'll track and we're done so just go to edit target and let's select our track hit on ok and now go to apply make sure it's on s and y hit ok and now we have our tracking data here so now all we have to do is just parent this to our track data and pre-compose this again and just turn on the motion blur again and now what you have to do is convert it to 3d so convert all the layers to 3d and now we can rotate this so if you go to our properties you can go to the z rotation and we can rotate them so now let's go to y rotation and you can see we have something like this so now just uh, parent this to our track data and you can see it is going to track to the face let's add some effect to this so we add our be bevel alpha so bevel alpha and let's go for six this is two now let's go for four and let's go for drop shadow and add deep glow 0.25 add prism to this bcc prism obsolete so you can have a nice looking prism here you can add motion blur to this so you can add your ml so uh, this is just a uh, some few frames or some few seconds of the video that we made so if we are if i to make it for the long video and uh, if we track this you can see it's tracking to our character here and that is what we want the next effect is this radial blur you have been seeing and this is very easy to do so after creating your zoom all you have to do is just add radial blur to this you just add radial blur this is how it is you just have to just take your point here and just move it to where you want the focus to be and you can see it's creating this nice uh, motion blur this radial blur here you can change the angle you can go for preset you can go for heavy and you can see how heavy it is but we don't want heavy so we just have to go to our normal one so if you don't have this you can use the dc radial blur you can also use that so the cc uh, radial blur all you have to do is increase the quality to 100 and make sure you bring down the amount so with this you can also center it so with the cc radial blur you can also use this to also create a nice uh, radial blur so i'm going to show you how to create this type of test animation and uh, this is very easy to do so now let's let me show you how to do it so now create your test and now we have our test here make sure you put your anger point in the middle and make sure you center this and now let's go and make our shape grab your pen tool here so now let's create a solid so let's go for something like let's go for this color here and now let's make a max so select your pen to go to max and now let's create something like this you can also use png to compose this and now add half tone to this change it to automatic and change it to so now change it to automatic and change it to rgb and we can go for the scale 
we can either bring it down just a bit like so and you can add emboss shiny you can go for color like something reddish so let me go for something like this pre-compose this and now let's turn on our test so now let's kill this bring down your test and scale this like this so now let's start with our test and let's create animation and go to turn off the down layer go to your test go to animate and make sure you select scale and now let's go to our scale make a keyframe bring it down like this and move some few frames and reset this highlight all your keyframe is ease highlight make a graph like this so we have something like this and now all we have to do is enable our, our texture and add our mesh warp to this so to compose this so now add bcc linear wipe changes from auto to pct so make sure you add some softness just a bit of softness here and now set it to like zero and make a keyframe for the percent down as the animation starts popping up then you are going to start creating the animation now the same is into this so we have something like this all we have to do is just go to our test and pre-compose it go to the pre-compose uh, pre-comp right click solid and create a new solid and just add a fractal noise to this and let's go to brightness and just bring it down put in vet and just let's increase the contrast just a bit to add triton to this you can go for any color you desire so i'll go for this type of color and i'll just create create a track mat to go to your toggle switches a mode and just drag it to this side here and now add key light so bcc key light so you can see now highlight all your layers we compose them now add bevel alpha and now add drop shadow to this so if go back to our comp and this is what we have deep glow and you can go to tint and go to deal and you can also bring down the exposure here and now let's go to transparency and now go to your layer here and now we compose this and add drop shadow to this too So now what you have to do is just create a new shape, disable the fill and increase the stroke. So let's go for something like this, add another test, select the test, move it inside the shape, duplicate this again, Ctrl D, move it to this side and now move it inside this. So pre compose this, so the go. We're going to put it just behind here. We're going to put it just here, and you're just going to pre-compose them again. So pre-compose and pre-compose. So let's go for this. Go for position. Hit you to reveal your keyframes, and just go down here and just scale it down. for opacity set it to zero hit you to reveal your keyframes moving time and set it to 100 
right to keyframes the ease go to your position keyframe and now make a graph like this now pre compose this again now add table and easy so make sure you go to mutation rate change it to zero and go to gain set it to one and go to details and increase the details so that we we'll get this uh, uh wobbly look so basically this is how to create this type of test animation so you can highlight everything pre compose this add an adjustment layer then add your zoom zoom blur to this so basically this is how to create this type of test animation